Hello Internet, my name is Mark Liang, I'm 14 from San Marino, California, and this is my YouTube Space Lab entry. Bing! I'm looking at the effects of space on fungi using the oyster mushroom, but actually I'm taking a closer look at the mycelium, the roots of the fungi. What can fungi do? It's waterproof, non-toxic, fire resistant, stronger than concrete, biodegradable, breaks on hydrocarbons, dirty and compact. Why does this matter for you? Because it's science. But consider this, mushrooms can help crops grow in space filter water and air of impurities, take in our waste, and in return create medicine and building materials. All of this is cost efficient, self-sustaining, and good for the environment. So here's the question. What is the effect of microgravity on the growth and catabolic actions of the oyster mushroom? Chlorus ostrichus. Didn't get that? Let me explain. You see, fungi use mycelium to break down the things around them, and that's how they get all their uses. However, I believe that space and microgravity will have a direct effect on mycelium growth which may impair or even disable uses in space. So to recap, mushrooms in space, catabolic actions, and microgravity. Let's do this. So here's a basic summary of what we're going to do. I chose the butterfly enclosure because it has airflow and I can control light and temperature. To grow the mushrooms, we'll use media such as straw, grain, or even hair. The enclosure will have three separate plungers, the first being a liquid culture, which is basically little bits of mushroom cut up and sleeping. In stage one, we'll inject the liquid culture and let the mycelium fully grow out and mature. Plungers two and three will contain hydrocarbons, the basis of life, oil and nematodes. Let's kill them. In stage two, we'll plunge these in and let the mycelium decompose them. In stage three, we'll change the weather and sprout a mushroom. Here's the plan. If we can do an identical ground truth, we can compare all factors of the experiment. I hope to see changes in these three things. Almost done. Here's a final note for the judges. And here's a photo of me eating a mushroom eating a cake. 